Uh, uh, I've time for a couple more of these, I guess. All right. Um. So this is chapter ten now. Uh, called alternately insert Metroid jingle here and Kraid, the big monster and guardian. He likes his fucking exclamation marks in um in chapter headings. Sorry for not updating this yesterday, but here it is, the next chapter. Please read and review, or Pichu will evolve to a Pikachu. Wait, wait, isn't that a menace? XD. Ho ho. Chapter 10. Craig the Big Monster and Guardian. Planet ZBs. Room 42. Oh, like uh, hitchhikers. Kit hitchhikers. Oh, bloody hell, that sounds racist. I won't, won't dwell on that too much. Uh, alright. The trio continued their path to the base. It was full of machinery, but the weird thing was, it was completely empty. Isn't weird to find all this abandoned? Chris asked. Be on your guards. They always know when their enemies will come to their hideout. Samus stated, ch charging up her arm cannon. They walked silently towards the next room. Everything was too quiet. There were little sounds coming from anywhere, and they turned quickly to find the source. So, weird use of commas. Lucario, can you see someone with your aura? Chris suggested. Let me see! Lucario glowed for a moment. He saw many figures coming from the other rooms, but mysteriously, he found some in where they were standing, just below of them. Multiplayer, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Fuck you. Below us! Avoid it! Lucario shouted, jumping away from there. Samus and Chris did the same, and the floor blasted. And from it, five space pirates came shooting at them. These guys know how to attack, Chris pointed out, evading some shots. Lucario, cover me up! He hid behind a pile of boxes. Lucario approached the pile and protected him from the shots. It is getting worse. The writing is just... It's... It's... Oh. <laughs> it just... <laughs> all semblance of, like, grammatical structure is just gone completely, this chapter. is just using commas and full stops as pretty much the only punctuation marks. The, um, you know, it's dis it's a disgrace to the English language. Um, uh, and protected him from the shots. What are you going to do? Lucario asked. A green flash came from Chris's head and he controlled it towards the group of five. It exploded and they fainted and died. <laughs> it exploded and they fainted and died. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty nasty combination of events. I wouldn't want to be them. Well done, Chris. Samus congratulated Chris's action. They proceeded to the next room. What the fuck did he... Was it PK Flash? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Planet ZB's room 43. There are more of them, Chris said. Chris! Oh, no. Chris, look out! Samus shouted. A space pirate came with a sable attached to his arm. What? What? A sable? <laughs> is that... What is a, a sable? That's like, um... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be very threatened. <laughs> it's a fucking pine martin. <laughs> fucking sables, man. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just fucking attacks Chris with a small furry creature. Okay, a space part. I presume it's meant to be Saber, but uh, I'm just being difficult. I like the image too much. The space pirate came with a sable attached to his arm, and he was about to slice Chris. Yes, Saber. He was about to slice Chris until he suddenly learned to use Double Team. He used it, and the sable slashed through it, but he came from behind him and kicked him. Chris was completely unharmed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the fucking proposition. Preposition. I don't know what the fuck you call him. You know, like um, he, she, it, whatever. Yeah, like uh, pronouns. Sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, wrong word. Yeah, no. Look at this. He was about to slice Chris until he suddenly learned to use double team. He used it and the sable slashed through it, but he came from behind him and kicked him. Chris was completely unharmed. Okay. Aside from the fact that the fucking commas are a disgrace, but also, I mean. It's it's just a that's probably the worst sentence so far in this story, and and this story has included some real gems. Um, Chris was completely unharmed. That was double team, right? 
Lucario asks, surprised. However, four space pirates came from... How the fuck did it... Isn't Double Team like a Pokemon move or something? How the fuck did he learn to use that? We don't need to know things. It's okay. Just assume that we can guess. Um... Lucario are surprised, however, four space pirates came from behind. He turned and used Double Team 2. He disappeared in a flash and he came from behind them quite fast with a powerful kick, sending them to the wall and crashing them. Sorry, sending them to the wall and crashing to them. But yours is far more advanced than mine, Chris said. You will eventually learn how to use it well, Lucario said. You know what? I'm sick, I'm sick of commenting on all these grammatical fucking errors. It'll take a fucking year to finish this if I... No, it will, it'll, it'll probably take a year anyway, but it'll take about 10 years to finish this if I just keep stopping. I'll just read it, no matter how dumb, no matter how egregious it is, I'll just fucking read it. I'll save time. Um, you will eventually learn how to use it well, Lucario said. Wait a minute, what is that? Chris saw a little orange ball rolling in the floor, and it shined and went towards a group of pirates, knocking them out with a single blown. Then the ball turned into Samus. How did you do that? Chris asked, I'm, I'm, he must have played the fucking games, he m it, like, uh, you know, or, or at least, this, you know, he's definitely played, uh, he, he goes on about fucking Melee at one point, so clearly he's played Smash Bros. before, you know, and that's what she does, right, she goes in the little ball, that's, that's her thing, I don't know, um, maybe I'm remembering that wrong, but I'm pretty sure you see that in the games all the time, um, how did you do that? Chris asked. It's hard to explain it. I'll tell you two sometime later. Later? She, later, she said, walking towards the next room. Both followed her. Space Pirate Base, room 44. Why is this room filled with lava? There are only three platforms in here, too. The room was starting to shake. The lava was moving wildly. Someone is inside the lava! Lucario said, from the lava, a big dinosaur-like creature with three spikes on his chest, stomach, and another spike between the two spikes came from the lava, roaring enraged. There, there's it, there it is again. Fucking enraged. That must be Kraid, Samus said, reading Kraid's information in her visor. Wait, what is that? Is a subspace bomb. There was a subspace bomb behind Kraid. The countdown was in ten minutes. What does it mean, behind Kraid? I thought it was full of fucking lava. All right. Countdown was in 10 minutes. We must defeat that thing and deactivate the bomb before it explodes, Lucario said, firing an aura sphere at Kraid's head, but it bounced off. What? Um, his head, his head is too hard to break through. His weak point are those spikes in his body, but they need first to be fired in order to do damage, Sama said. The spike of the middle fired quite fast at Chris, but Lucario grabbed the spike before it could touch Chris, and he threw it to the lava. Now, fire! Samus was shooting in the spot of the spike. Lucario was firing several aura spheres there too. Kraid was roaring in pain and he fired the other two spikes. However, Chris was charging up a PK flash and it expo exploded right in front of the spikes, destroying them in the process. Don't you feel the action? Doesn't it? Isn't it so visceral? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's like, uh, you know, fucking, it's like, uh, you know, Die Hard, you know, it's it's like, it's just one thing after another, it's crazy, it's intense, it's, you know, he's really good at writing, suspenseful writing, you know, you know, you don't know whether these characters are going to survive or not, oh, it's just, it's crazy, man, it's crazy, alright, uh, why am I still reading this fucking story, alright, um, Keep going, Sama said again, now firing missiles, Kraid was without his spikes, so the monster approached to them and used his giant claw to slice them. They jumped just in time to evade it. Wait a minute, primids are coming this way. Chris saw a group of five primids appearing from behind them. They used tiny fireballs, the trio was invading them and Kraid's claw. Lucario acted quickly and managed to beat them, then they returned to damage Kraid. Is becoming weaker, keep firing at it, Chris said. Huh? That sound! Metroids! Samus said, surprised. From a hole, eight Metroids came moving their pincers of their mouths. Bloody hell, everything's fucking going down now. They, I was mocking it a, a minute ago, so ago, but shit's happening. They moved floating in the air and they f quickly f flew towards Samus's how, how, uh, I can't speak. I'm just, I'll just stop it here. <laughs>